Hi, I'm Courtney Barker and welcome back to the Inside NRC Wrap. Well, it was all Queensland country in the latest round of NRC as Brisbane City had the bye. Let's get stuck straight into it. Queensland country started off the week of NRC action by travelling to a rainy Newcastle to face the New South Wales Country Eagles in an all-country affair. Queensland Country endured an Eagles onslaught in the opening 10 minutes, giving away several penalties and struggling to get out of their own half with a howling gale in their faces. Their fortunes changed, however, when some sustained pressure saw a crossfield kick by Dion Taumata result in this try. Piers Fitzgerald knocked it back for try scorer McLean Jones. Taumata knocked over the extras to put them out to an eight point lead. The Eagles responded eight minutes later when David Fayo drove his way over the line. John Lance converted a wobbly kick to level the match. The Eagles weren't done there as Mitch Short slipped through the line to score under the posts. Lance slotted in an easy conversion to take the Eagles out to an eight point lead before the break with scores at 16 to eight. The dominant Queensland country scrum continued its imposing 2015 form with a penalty try early on in the second half Talmata added the extras to level the scores once again. That was the last scoring for a while, as the team struggled to gain momentum in the tough conditions. It wasn't until the 73rd minute that Taniela Tupo crashed over the line to take his try tally up to three from the past three matches. Talmata made it three from three and the country held on to take their second win for the season. Full-time score, 16-24 to Queensland country. In the other matches of the round, the UC Vikings eased past the Rays 63-37. Perth Spirit defeated Melbourne at home 31-21, while the Stars took out the Sydney Derby, defeating the Rams 44-32. Looking to the ladder, the Canberra Vikings slipped past Brisbane City into the top spot with a superior points differential, as both sides sit on 24 points. The Stars remain in touch, they're in third place on 19 points. Melbourne Rising and the Perth Spirit follow in fourth and fifth, on 12 and 10 points respectively. Queensland Country sit mid-table on 9 points after their win, just ahead of the New South Wales Country Eagles, while the Rays and the Rams round out the ladder. Let's check out what's coming up in Round 7. It's a big one for Brisbane City. They take on the third place Stars in Sydney, with a top-of-the-table clash against the Vikings next week. That's the only game for our Queensland teams as Queensland Country have the bye. Elsewhere, the Rams host the Rays, Melbourne make the trip to Canberra and the New South Wales Country Eagles will take on Perth out west. Well, we had some fresh faces put their hands up to be the Ballymore kid on Thursday night. Flanker McLean Jones made life difficult for the Country Eagles. He got rewarded early for his efforts with a try in the first half. And though it wasn't the weather for running rugby, inside centre Lagi Setu showed his versatility and got stuck into the tight stuff with a dominant display. Well, that's it for this week's Inside NRC Wrap. Thanks for checking in. Our Brisbane City boys have a big one this weekend against the third place Sydney Stars. Make sure you check out the live stream on the Fox Sports website on Friday night and we'll see you next time.